Here we go. Alright, so we could do a few things uh, with that faith, but what we need is to spread Islam. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a missionary and start spreading my religion to other people. I would love to spread it over to Monaco to make sure they remain my buddies. Um, so we should probably check to see if that's a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and make, I want to say, well, caravansary would be a good idea as well, so I can send food over to Helsinki. They're quite far away, and they do need my food. So, let's get that going. Alright, so you shoot this guy. Get rid of that worker. They don't deserve workers anymore. You have to earn workers. And they lost the privilege. Alright, look at that. And now we know that he has pretty much no units around uh, Breda. Uh, which means that we might be safe to start approaching the city. This guy's pretty close. He's pretty much close enough to be attacked by these troops. Alright, here you go. I'm gonna move this guy. But is this a heel tile? Because it doesn't look like one. It's planes. So I should be able to move here and then move over there. So why am I not allowed to do that? Oh, because I'm crossing a river. It's so small though. Alright. My bad. Alright, so let's send you over there. Send you over there. Keep you there. Alright. And then I can just move the trebuchet like that and start firing uh, with everything that I have next turn. I am very much looking forward to that. Okay, so do nothing for now. Uh, let's see. Alright, just stay there. Stay there. Alright, next turn we're going to try and actually start taking this city. Because I know he doesn't have a lot of units left, and he's probably keeping some. Well, we saw that he has some to defend Amsterdam. And my crossbowman got bombarded a little bit. That sucks, but he's still fine. He should be okay, ready to destroy that city, I think. It's kind of a bummer that this river's in my way, because if I send over the uh, longswordsman... He can't immediately start fighting. Alright, so pillage. There you go. And then, shoot. See, the warrior is very weak. I'm not worried about that guy. I'm more worried about the composite guy. Also, someone just earned a promotion. That would be that guy. Alright, good for you, man. You earned it. Alright, go. This guy is healing up, apparently. So, let's leave him to it. He has two units. One of which is extremely weak. The other one is kind of weak. Alright, I think we should just strike swiftly. Let's just do this. Oh god, he has more units than I thought. Alright. Time to move back. This is not a smart idea. Alright, so... Oh, there's forests and the river are kind of screwing me over here. Alright, go to friendly territory so I can delete you, man. Uh, I'm thinking, if we only we had more units from this area, we could probably... Find out a way to, to go in there, you know, somewhat safely, but right now that's just not possible. It's going to take some casualties for sure. I'm just thinking about how I'm going to approach this. I think we should have another crossbowman here, definitely. So I'm going to send you over there. You go over there. All right, you can come a little closer. Set up for an attack just in case. All right, it's Pert Religion. So Monaco is on my side. Which is sweet. But I definitely want to make sure that they are super good friends with me. Uh, which means I'm probably going to use my missionary to convert them to my religion. And get some money from that, obviously. And then also get the influence that I really want. Um, so that will be the plan for now. We got four crossbowmen. Honestly, we, actually five. We should have a big enough army easily to take uh, at least one of his cities, that's no problem. It's just that we're probably going to have some casualties there. What with all the, uh, the the archers he has set up. Poland got, we met someone, that sucks. Alright, I just hope that he isn't buddies with the Netherlands, because that could be an issue. He isn't that far away, actually. Who did he run into then? How do we meet this fella? I don't see any red. Alright, life was promoted. 
Uh, this guy got promoted. That's sweet. All right, so go with a nice upgrade for you. Uh, shoot that guy in the face because he's a nuisance. All right, here you go. Fire. Look at me go. I'm killing everybody. All right, good for me. All right, you go over there. And we can just finish the job next turn. It won't be a problem. That archer's pretty much dead. All right, so he was promoted. That's good for him. Like I already said, uh, I don't care about this one right now. Do we have space for a work of art? We do. Which means I'm just going to go ahead and pick Artistic Genius right now. Just grab that right away. Poland's protecting some city-states. Sigtuna has grown and Stockholm have grown. I like that tile, but I like my artists more. Actually, 15 turns is acceptable right now. So, just uh, actually work that tile. All right, sick tuna. Let's, let's work that one because we can still get a farm there. That'll be pretty effective. All right, missionary. So, we're going to spread religion in Monaco now for that sweet, sweet influence. All right, so you go. Here we are. Oh, look at this. Look at you. Plunder. Yes, please. I'll take that gold. All right, to just take a step back. Easy as that. We just earned a whole lot of money. Victor M. Vesnetsov. <clears throat> Honestly, I've never heard of that guy ever. Moving house. That is sweet, though. Yep. Pretty depressing, though. But nice. Sure. All right, I have the most works of art so far, so we are... On schedule there. Uh, education, we almost have that anyway. So we could pick compass or chivalry. And let's see. I definitely think I want to get the Sistine Chapel. So going with chivalry, see, actually don't even need that. So that's not, not a, uh, a reason to pick it. Printing press, don't really need that either. I would like astronomy for the observatory. So I'll go with compass for now. Which will also give me the ability to make boats. Or, well, better boats than what I have right now, at least. Uh, Pagoda. Yeah, that's not going to work right now, buddy. Barracks. I mean, we have the space for a caravan. It would be silly not to make one. And then we'll just uh, resend him or whatever, change his home city to Stockholm and send food to Helsinki. Probably uh, in a route that doesn't cut through uh, Dutch borders because that, well, that's kind of dangerous, honestly. I probably don't even have to explain why. Uh, let's see, alright. I can move him here, that's still safe. So I'm good with that. Um, damn it. I think what we have to do is just pick one person to sort of sacrifice so we can actually aim at the... the archers there. Or at least if we can just take down these, these fellas, which we should be able to do next turn, uh, it should be a lot safer for us to just move in our units and start, you know, swinging. This guy's in trouble. I mean, he's not going to die, I think, but salt for open borders. I would prefer just like seven goldies per turn. I mean, obviously you kind of like me, so I would vastly prefer just hard cash. 82. Wait, but I, I'm OK. Here we go. Islam's for to Monaco. So they love me a little bit more now. Wait, who's fighting them? Is that a Dutch unit or is it another city-state? It's another city-state. Look at that. I was not expecting them to do something that silly. Helsinki has grown to 10 citizens. That's that's good. I mean, that's the best I have right now. Might as well pick that one. Workshop is almost done. That'll be great for them. So we need a market in Helsinki. Workshop Helsinki. So in about two turns, we can get the ironworks. That's good. So... Let's see. I guess I'll just go with a stable because that's a uh, building that will actually benefit me quite a, quite a bit and just give me more production, so I'll make that. That's fine. All right, let's just finish this now because I grow tired of this little game. Kill the warrior. All right, that... How is he still alive? You've got to be joking me right now. There we go. Are you for real? 
Does he just have the best luck ever or what? All right, kill him. Kill them all. How are, do they still have so many units? I really think, uh, thought that they would have been out of units by now, but apparently that doesn't work. All right, you need to run because there's a horseman right there and he's evil and mean. All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. And you're totally good. All right, so mostly we're waiting for this guy to be dead before we actually charge all our units in there. We have surrounded them. That's good. We got Cape Town helping us out, which is beautiful. Uh, as long as they still have units. And it looks like they're actually producing units at a pretty okay rate. So they might be fine. But I just want to take Bray down because that is their closest city to me. Uh, nope. And I would love to take Utrecht as well. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say them in Dutch. Because that just sounds awkward to me. <laughs> in a, in an English video. Uh, it's the same as people speaking in English and then suddenly saying P Paris instead of Paris. Just say Paris. That's what everybody calls it in English, alright? Um, yeah, we're probably not going to win that fight. All right, so just send him home so he can kill himself. Looks like the... Hello? What are you doing, man? Are you serious right now? Causing trouble for me? Can't do that. Acoustics, because like I said, I want the Sistine Chapel. Definitely want a Musician's Guild and the Opera House as well. And we really got to make a university here. We really, really do. Let's get that out of the way first. Screw that stable. I care about university way more. All right, university. I guess we've mostly been waiting for an opportunity to uh, to start working an actual important building again. Uh, we have our little scapegoat, I guess you could say. All right, let's check. Hello. What's going on in here? All right, let's just take a chance. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. We've been waiting long enough. I think we've earned the right to this city. We we have the right to burn it uh, to the ground. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. If I put him here, he's going to be attacked. If I put him there, he's going to be attacked. But right now, it's obviously a weaker city. Um, screw it. Let's see if he actually stays alive if I do this. I could pillage, but that would be... A waste of a turn. Uh, one crossman would do pretty okay damage to to the city. So I'm pretty sure we can take this real quick. I'm talking real quick. That's going to be over pretty soon. All right, so you go back just in case that horseman tries anything. He might just be scouting or whatever, but I still don't like it. Stockholm will be your home city. Yeah, what else is there? I guess we could make a road to all the way to Helsinki. It might be worth it right about now. And this guy is stuck. All right, just go over there. Just in case. And then you go over here and set up. And you are going to have to move. So let's see what happens now. He only has two units left and his city. So I'm curious to see who we will focus on. And it is my crossman that was injured. That was what I was afraid of, because he's going to be dead. He's not, though. Apparently, they spared the guy. Because why? Because they moved the crossbowman away from my melee unit. Now I get it. That seems silly, though, but sure. All right, so at least I still have a chance to get this guy into friendly territory and uh, heal him the hell up. All right, so fire... This horseman definitely needs to go, so let's just uh, take care of that right away. I also see a pikeman there. Um, so I guess it would be a good idea to keep uh, at least one unit in friendly territory. To, um, to protect ourselves from foreign threats, as they say. Alright, so fire. I mean, that is some very decent damage. Very decent. Alright, so I'm going to set you up right here so you can melee attack the archer. Fire. Yep, definitely fire at the city. I'm going to need you to fire at either the guy or the city. Guy, city, guy, city. All right, let's go with this with the guy. Seems like a safer bet right now. 
This guy can actually set up and fire at the, the, this dude. Because we definitely want him to be dead. He could be, uh, at least a bit of trouble. He's probably not very dangerous, but I still don't like having him around. I'm gonna send you here, because you're not actually doing anything right now. You need to leave. I'm gonna put you here. This guy is totally dead. He has nowhere else to go. Yeah, we don't have the range. Alright, so just go over here. Get ready for an attack. Right out will be ours in about one turn, I imagine. Alright, so food and religious pressure to Helsinki. That is beautiful. No longer allies. Hanoi is now free. Yeah, they probably don't really have the budget to uh, keep that up. Alright, so kill the scout. Because he's just a waste of money right now. And that doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, so if I order him to make a road to Helsinki, let's see how he does that. And you guys are going to make me a, a library. Uh, I'd say library, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Because we want to get to the, uh, not the National College, we already have that, but the Oxford University. Oh boy, they're fighting Cape Town again. Oh, actually, Cape Town won that fight. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, I'm trying to kill my uh, my longswordsman. Oh, he's sending in the reinforcements. Look at that. He just decided to do it in a way that is not very smart. I would like to point out because this guy is right next to my longswordsman. A mine has been destroyed by a marauding city state horseman. Why is he there? I thought we we spoke about this. Honestly, getting Cape Town as my ally, again, I'm just going to repeat myself here, has been a very, very good choice, I think. Very good choice. Alright, so I'm going to go with the rough terrain bonus. Uh, just chill there. Fix that stuff up. You need to heal more than anything in the world right now. We're going to fire at Breda. Alright, this guy definitely needs to shoot at the city. Because they do the most damage. Zemage? Zap damage. Alright, uh, let's see. Yep, fire, definitely. See, I'm seeing an opportunity here to just take the city instantly. He doesn't have any melee units nearby. Great person was born. That's awesome. We get a general here. And then I can just send, let's see here. Alright, that would be a good victory. This guy I don't care about as much. He's as good as dead anyway, so. You take the city, my pikeman. Am I an idiot? Attack. I gave you an order, man. That means you do it. And we took Bright Eye. It is now ours. I will create a puppet for now. Because that seems like the best idea. And I want to rename it, but apparently I can't do that right now. Oh man, I'm gonna have to, I'm actually gonna have to annex this thing if I want to give it a silly name. But that will I guess I'll just do that later. I can't really do that right now. Alright, so kill. Very good. Take him out. There you go. Wonderful. I'll spend my hard-earned money on those spices. It's about time that we actually got those. The general here, Robert E. Lee. What? Robert E. Lee? Wasn't wasn't he like a big con confederacy guy? Alright, that's cool. Um, I'm going to have this guy actually kill the archer. So that you can heal up. Look at that. So we just took their city. I don't think we've lost a single unit, which is good. I think that's quite nice. And uh, we overtook them in terms of points. So we're still willing to give me two gold per turn. Uh, which, honestly, I do not find acceptable. I'm going to have to at least take his capital. Uh, I think. But first, we're going to take Gronian. And then we'll see. They have some early concerns about my warmongering. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It is not a big deal. All right. So what is this city making? Uh, just this tiny, small amount of food. All right. That's not great. I was hoping to get at least some other stuff from it. All they have is a library. So they should be giving me some. Oh, obviously, they're still in revolt for another two turns. All right. Promotion. There you go, my friend. You just got promoted. All right, so this guy is inside the city, which is just no good. I'm going to send in my crossbowman. 
to defend it a bit more uh, effectively. Uh, I'm just take, taking a look here at what I want to do. What I kind of want to do is just hook this up right to Stockholm. And after we do that, we can hook up right out to Helsinki. And uh, why would I make a stupid, what's it called, Citadel here? That would be, that would be extremely silly. I will not be doing that at all. All right. So, no worries here. We can just step up and shoot this guy in his stupid little face. There you go. You go over there. We're going to start f killing his dudes. And we're going to start hitting him hard. That is my plan here. And now that we took one of his cities, means he's a little bit weaker. So we start making more. Or taking more of his cities, that means he's going to be even more weaker. More weaker. No, just weaker. He's going to be even weaker. So that should be quite good. Uh, happiness is being fixed right now, so that's good. So I guess our next target would be uh, Groningen, and then we'll probably go for Utrecht. And then, I guess, Amsterdam. Those are These are pretty much his toughest cities, aside from Rotterdam. That's too far away. Um, so I do think we want to take these two before we take his capital city. Or attempt to, at least. But so far, so good. I think we did okay. And um, we're kicking his ass a little bit. And I still want his wonders. So let's keep it up, I guess.